trailer um, car is ready to go um, we'll go ahead and bring it back to the house and kind of look over everything when we get it there um, drop the parts off and kind of see how everything looks all right so just got the car made a pit stop over here to drop everything off it's kind of a list of everything that we have for it all the different seats tires floor panes a bunch of new stuff carpets the original bag. yep the original bag for it came with it jack. <laughs> original jack so almost everything with it nice pony interior seats i don't know if we'll be able to keep i probably can't see it on that part but we got the nice pony stitching on them but they are pretty worn out so might have to get new seat covers for it or covered differently but we'll see now all these trays are pretty rusted so we'll see what we can do with the seats kick pains everything else we'll kind of see how it goes all right so we got the car back to the house car is in honestly pretty great shape um kind of go through everything and see uh, what all we need to get um car came with a bunch of stuff um, went over to the storage unit, dropped everything off. Um, kind of went through everything that we have over there just kind of quickly. I need to go through and actually do like an inventory list of everything here soon, but I wanted to kind of go ahead and show you guys what we got. Um, what kind of work I know immediately off the bat I need to take care of. And uh, I was going to kind of do a walk around the car and kind of show you what it looks like right now. Alright, so this is how the car is currently looking. So. Front of the car honestly looks pretty decent. Um, we got a little bit of work that needs to be done. Um, bumper honestly looks in pretty great shape. Um, headlights, we have the actual brackets for the headlights and the um, actual headlights themselves as well as the front grille that's in the storage unit. Um, like I said, I need to go over there and do a full inventory list, but right now, I mean, the car itself, the body and everything is in pretty great shape on the outside. There's no real rust. The only spot there's a little bit of rust is in the back quarter panel here. We have a little bit of rust right down here, but it's honestly not too bad. It's gone through a little bit on the bottom down here, but the rest of the fender is not bad at all. There's a little bit of surface rust here, but it actually doesn't go through the body, so that could probably just be sanded down patched up a little bit this will require a little bit more work with maybe some bondo or body filler or something but honestly it's not in too too bad shape the inner fender well is dirty has some surface rust but it's not all the way through uh, nothing on the trunk nothing in the seams up here the only spot in the car that is definitely going to need to be replaced um is far and like there's some little patches right here but nothing major so in here you see this front uh, floor pan on the passenger side is just completely gone um, we have some holes up there, so I'm going to have to cut all that out and put a new floor pan in here. Um, we got some couple little minor ones back here, a couple little minor ones over there, and a couple little minor ones on the driver's side there. Most of those I can probably cut out and just put some patches in because the rest of the actual floor pan, like around here, this is just a little bit of surface rust here, so it's not actually all the way through. Um, it's bad in this whole corner right here, though, so I'm going to cut this corner out. Um, probably cut up whenever I don't use a floor pan over there or probably get another floor pane and kind of just cut everything together um probably you know just kind of patch this all together doesn't have to be super pretty but enough to be sturdy and kind of paint everything over so really as far as rust goes not too too bad floor panes are most of the time on all these are rusted out so won't be too too much work car's already stripped down which is making it a little bit more convenient to go ahead and get started on everything the one they really left in here is the seat belts because the door panes are completely stripped out um, car itself as far as internals pretty much stripped actually has a really nice straight body line So not too much work as far as body work. It is a vinyl top car So I do need to get a new vinyl top for it. It's why it looks like this. It's not actually rust It's where the old glue residue is just all patched up on it So that won't be too bad sand it down and get a new vinyl top put on it um, Really dirty on the inside. So I do need to get everything kind of cleaned out vacuumed up um, washed down to see how everything actually looks trunk either not too too bad in here and there's no holes um, no rust or anything in this part so everything in here looks pretty great so this car is a 66 mustang um, 66 mustang with a vinyl top has a 289 it's a c code car um, did come with factory ac in there which is going to be a pain i already know to get that back working in but it did come with factory ac so we're going to see what we can do about that 
Um, this car does have the pony interior package with it, which is super nice. It has um, power brakes on the front of the car. Um, hopefully, um, we don't have to replace too much of that. Um, we'll kind of see when we get into it a little bit more there. But overall, the car itself um, being stripped out, it's been sitting for uh, about 40 years. So it's not perfect, but it's been kept in a garage slash barn. So as far as how messed up it is, it honestly is not too, too bad. Let me go ahead and pop the hood. So the uh, carbs actually off the car have the car. The carb for it is actually in the storage unit. Um, it's a holly carb. It's been taken out. I'm probably going to end up getting a new carb. I might be able to get the carb rebuilt. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Probably get a new carb for it. Probably a little bit easier than trying to find somewhere to rebuild it. But honestly, a two-barrel holly carburetor is probably going to be almost the same price as getting it rebuilt. Maybe a couple bucks more, but then I know it's brand new. I'll have to dial it in, so it won't be too, too bad. Um, it's just dirty in here. It just needs to be cleaned up really nice, cleaned up really good. Um, all right, so honestly, the car itself is not in horrible shape. The car, body-wise, is looks pretty fantastic. Um, no real holes or else I got to deal with. A little bit on that quarter panel there. Definitely gotta attack the interior of the car. New floor pans put into it, get everything primed, uh, clean everything out, just make sure everything's solid on the inside so we can actually start putting the inside back together. Outside wise, I mean the car at least has primer on it so I don't really have to worry too much about it sitting for a little bit so it won't really get too much rust outside of what it has now. Um, get the one side patched up, get everything kind of sanded down, smoothed out a little bit. But as far as body lines, nothing really has to be adjusted. Nothing really needs to be ordered for the outside right now. So everything looks good there other than maybe some miscellaneous trim pieces. Um, so we'll kind of see how everything works out in the next video. I'm going to get the car cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and um, get an inventory list, see what we have, what I know immediately we're going to need. I know there's going to be some stuff I don't find immediately that I'm going to have to order later. But this kind of give me a general idea on what we immediately are going to have to do on the car. Hopefully you guys stick around. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. And I will hopefully see you in about a week on the next video.